welcome to Vedic Mathematics Basis Based Venus Classes. We are continuing with 5 space VMST. From today in phase 11, our way of learning will be as lessons and workshops. Each lesson class would be followed by a workshop. The workshop will be having four sessions, in fact five sessions. Third session is going to be of two phases. The first section, first session will be a prayer. Second session will be of TCV dictionary compilation. Third session will be about the organization in which first the organization features chase would be there and then system format would be reached at. In fourth session there would be a meditation. The lesson itself will be in respect of the knowledge preserved in our ancient textbook. Therefore, each one of us shall have a textbook, Shipura. Here, normally, we will be referring to the original Sanskrit text or for further elaboration, for simple rendering, the Gita Press publication of a Shipura in which simple Hindi rendering of the text is available along with elaborative pictorial depictions of the different systems, formats, values, features of this discipline of knowledge. Today in this lesson our focus is going to be upon the formulation Rudra. We know that Shipuran is a scripture of seven Samhitas. The first Samhita is Videshwar Samhita. The chapter 1 of Videshwar Samhita is a scripture of 38 shlokas range for its chapter 1. Videshwar Samhita is a scripture of 25 chapters, 25 adhyayas. The first adhyaya, the first chapter of Videshwar Samhita is of scriptures range of 38 shlokas. Let us open a new notebook. In this notebook, let us mention that we are in phase 11. This phase 11 is to focus upon the Rudra Samhita, the second Samhita. Further, it shall be mentioned that from this phase onwards, the initiation and exposure to five space VMST is going to be of two parts. The first part would be in the form of a lesson at as we are now at present, the first lesson of this phase. In fact, it is lesson number 61. In this section, in this lesson 61, we are initiating our exposure to Rudra Samhita. Rudra Samhita is the second Samhita. The basic formulation, the caption, the designation, the main structural key in terms of which we shall be having our initiation, our exposure and our reach within the Rudra Samhita would be the formulation Rudra. Formulation Rudra, let us mention it at the outset, at the opening page that today we are initiating ourselves, we are exposing ourselves in terms of the formulation Rudra. The formulation Rudra, formulation Rudra is of TCV value 17. Let us note down 
that this formulation Rudd being a complete formulation will accept value 1. Then further this formulation is of a pair of syllables and as such it will accept value 2 and the format will be of a diamond. Therefore we are reaching this formulation initially as a monad and associating value 1 then we see that this formulation as it is of a pair of syllables and as such it accepts value 2 and diamond format. Further this first monad of this diamond itself is of a pair of letters and as such this first monad of monad itself is a diamond while the second monad of this diamond is of triple letters and as such it is a trimonad. Therefore at this third phase and stage of chase of the formulation Rudra we see that monad is getting a transition into a diamond and then this diamond itself is of diamond and a trimonad. As such it is going to give us a composition of five monads. So one, two, three, four and five. Formulation Rudra is a formulation complete in itself and in its completeness it accepts value 1. Then further in its composition as of pair of syllables it accepts value 2 and diamond format. Further this diamond format with first monad being of a pair of letters and second syllable being of triple letters it accepts a diamond format of which the first component itself is diamond while the second component is of a trimonad. Therefore sequentially we are reaching the system of the format of a Rudra which sequentially is taking us to a diamond as a monad then a diamond as a pair of monads of which the first monad is diamond and the second monad is a trimonad. Therefore, let us make a note that the formulation Rudra is the basic formulation and this formulation is a composition of five letters and these five letters as five monads organize themselves as two letters and three letters as diamond and tri trimonad and then diamond and trimonad also take us to the diamond format and diamond format ultimately folds itself as a monad. It is this internal unfolding and refolding process of this formulation which deserves to be comprehended well. Now let us see that the five space is availing value 5. The formulation Rudra as well is availing value 5 as 5 letters. Then hypercube 5 we know is a formulation which has 11 geometries range. There are 11 versions of hypercube 5 and also there are 11 geometries range. Therefore the 11 geometries range will be of positive 5, minus 5 and 0 signature. These 11 geometries range will be having these 11 versions as their representative regular bodies. We know that 5 space is a solid order space. 3 space is playing the role of the dimension. We know within this organization we are reaching at a situation. We are reaching at that 
it ultimately is sequentially taking us to the format of a trimonad, trimonad as a monad. Therefore, let us note down that the formulation punch which simple rendering is 5 is of TCV value 70. It would be blissful to take note that the formulation Rudra is of TCV value 70. Therefore, let us reach at sequentially the first letter, the second letter, the third letter, fourth letter and the fifth letter and we will see that it will give us a value 70. As such the focus here is that the formulation Rudra which is of TC value 17 is availing 5 letters composition and further we will be feeling a reach as that inherently the letter ref this letter ref here is in its value 1 while its value is 3 so therefore when this formulation will unfold itself then 70 will take us to 19 it is this which is dhru which is a pole star therefore and it also means a punr which means that it is to repeat itself. So it is this sequential unfolding of a repetitive cycle inherently within it is a feature which is inherently to be chased. And then we know the third Samhita is a Shatrudra Samhita and the fourth, the fourth Samhita is a Koti Rudra Samhita. Therefore, this formulation Rudra is to go further for its inherent unfolding process and it is this inherent unfolding process which will be taking us to the transcendental unfolding and we will be reaching at that for the present it would be sufficient to take note that the formulation Rudra is the basic formulation and in today we are concentrating upon this particular formulation. Further, let us see that the Shipuran, the ancient scripture, is a scripture of seven Samitas, of which the second Samita, the Rudra Samita, is of five parts. So, these are the five Samitas organizing as a single Samita. So, the value 5 is of focused attention. Second Samhita, the Rudra Samhita, is a scripture of five khand, five parts, five components. Therefore, Rudra Samhita is a Samhita with the formulation Rudra itself is a composition of five letters. Therefore, the value 5 is the basic value. Value 5 is the basic value in terms of which we have to have our initiation and exposure. Therefore, the topic, aspect, value, feature and the learning step of focus of the workshop which is going to be the first workshop. So workshop 1 will be having attentive, focused, detailed working about value 5. Therefore, value 5 is the caption, is the designation, is the heading, is the title, is the focused point, is the basic attention of workshop 1. During today's workshop, which will follow the present lesson, in fact, will be attend, making our attention in a focused intensity about value 5. And this value 5 will take us to the nine numerals range 
and with 5 being of a middle placement. So numerals 1 to 9 of 10 place value system take value 5 at its middle. Therefore value 5 becomes of a focused attention as it permits a reach from either end. Therefore in this workshop we will be having much attention about this placement of value 5. Further we know that parallel to 9 numerals range is 9 spaces range and 5 space becomes of middle attention, of middle focused attention. Like that the representative regular bodies of 1 to 9 spaces are hypercubes 1 to 5 and hypercube 5 comes at the central position. Therefore the hypercube of 5, 5 space and value 5 are interconnected, interrelated and as such while we will be working in details when we, in this workshop when our attention is going to be upon value 5 then in fact its attention will take us to 5 as a numeral of the middle placement of 9 numerals range of 10 place value system and with it will follow a focus upon 5 space and further there will be a focus upon the hypercube 5 and it will take us to it is a solid order space and then the formulation punch whose simple rendering is 5 is giving us a TCV value 15. So the TCV value of punch is a 50 and the TCV value of Rudra is 70. Now 15 and 70 are interconnected, interrelated, interorganized, having a system of format as a dimension and a domain. Therefore, one point which we shall make a central value of the Vedic systems that the space content is taken as a lump. This content lump manifests as a domain fold. This domain fold are a manifested space content plays different roles and one of the prominent roles, the initial role as a first fold role is a role of a dimension fold. As such we begin our chase of the existence phenomena starting with the dimension fold. The dimension fold here will be a 5 space content which shall be making a 5 space domain and value 5 and value 5 is taking us to the TC value 15 which is parallel to the dimensional frame of a 5 space. As such 5 space VMST is a system of a format along which the solid dimensional frame of value 15 the solid dimensional frame of 5 space 5 heads of Lord Shiva equipped with a triple eyes so all the 5 eyes with all the 50 all the 5 heads with all the 15 eyes so our chase 5 space chase 5 space VMST chase this universal existence phenomenon chase this space this universal space the chase within this universal space is a chase in terms of a dimensional frame a solid dimensional frame five heads with the triple eyes frames so it is a chase of value 15 so value 15 when we'll be giving a chase it will making 17 as a domain therefore the chase in terms of five dimensional frame of value 15 is going to be of value 17 and this value 17 is the TCV value of formulation Rudra. It would be blissful to take note that value 17 is the value of formulation Atma. Value 17 is also the TCV value of Divya. Therefore, the formulation Divya, formulation Atma, and formulation Dravya, and the formulation Rudra. Therefore, in today's workshop, 
when we will be in the second session of them when our focus is going to be upon TCV dictionary then one of the attentive things will be a let us compile the formulations of TCV value 17 and it will bring in Rudra, Dharave means content, Atma means soul, Dive means transcendental. So Dive, Atma, Dharave, Rudra, all these features, all these values, all these aspects, all these formats are ultimately are going to be the subject aspects of understanding, learning and chase of the workshop while in the phase of a TCV dictionary. So first in the first phase when we will be praying, our prayer we know is going to be a prayer in terms of the text of a Ganita Sutras. This text of Ganita Sutras we know is a text of 16 Sutras and the 13 of Sutra. The value 16 we can see that value 16 is accepts an organization 5 plus 6 plus 5 and value 13 accepts an organization 4 plus 5 plus 4. Therefore the value 5 has inherent role, basic role and it is a primitive role, it is a fundamental role, it is a transcendental role. Therefore, while we will be chasing value 5 in this workshop and when while we will be in the session 1 of a prayer and when we will be praying in terms of the text of 16 Ganita Sutras and 13 Ganita Up Sutras and when our attention and focus will be upon value 16 and value 13, then we will be seeing that 16 is 5 plus 6 plus 5 and 13 is 4 plus 5 for 4. Let us have a pause here and take note that this triple organization 565 in fact is an organization of a 5 space domain with 6 space as an origin. Therefore, there is a transcendental phenomenon in terms of which the origin 6 space self-referral origin of a transcendental domain will transcend out of a 5 space domain. Therefore, the value 5 as 5 space, as 5 space content, as hypercube of 5, as 5 space domain is ultimately to be focused with respect to the value that 6 space is playing the role of a 5 space. Once 6 space plays the role of an origin of a 5 space, then the phenomenon that this origin, this self-referral origin, when will transcend out then it will be giving us a format of a 5 space, 6 space and 5 space. Actually it is this phenomenon which is holding our earth of its northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere remaining integrated making it to be that both are the whole so part is a whole and both halves together are one and each half itself is a one. It is a mathematics, it is a science, it is a technology, it is a phenomenon, it is the existence phenomenon, it is the phenomenon being chased by the Vedic systems and this Vedic system is being chased along the Stapatya mining rod and Stapatya mining rod is a synthetic setup of hypercubes 1 to hypercubes 6 and Lord Brahma, creator of the Supreme, is the overlord of the Maya and this whole format in fact is the format meant for the transcendental carriers. So the transcendental lord carries along the format of his Thapatya Mering Rod. So we have to learn it. We have to understand it. We have to have an insight about it. And it is for it that we will be concentrating upon value 5 in this workshop and in this value 5 when in first session we will be praying then our attention would remain upon value 5 though we will be praying in terms of 16 sutras and Ganita Up sutras then the value 16 will give us 565 and value 13 will give us 454 when we will reach the second phase of this workshop then this second phase is essentially is going to have a focus upon exercise 
a exercise that of we should have update updated tcb dictionary our compilation of tcb dictionary is going to be our basic exercise our success ultimately will be evaluated in terms of the value of our tcb dictionary the tcb dictionary as it would be it will be indicating how far we have been successful to get ourselves initiated and to have our exposure how far we have been able to comprehend how far we have been able to have a proper insight how far we have been successful to have an an, an enlightenment and how far we have made our intelligence field which is of the state which shall be blessed with the transcendental grace and this everything is to be in terms of the index of the tcb dictionary therefore today from today we shall be formally preparing our tcb dictionary we will be trying to update this particular dictionary and the initiation for compilation of this dictionary is to be with the devanagari alphabet so each and every individual letter of devanagari alphabet is having a transcendental cad value therefore the first set of values which shall find mention in our tcb dictionary is to be the individual letters of devanagari alphabet we can see that the individual letters of devanagari alphabet are having values 1 to 16 however it would be blissful to take note that or it is only the yama letters which are having values 10 to 16 all other letters may it be vowels may it be consonants may it be antastha letters may be ushmana letters these all are exhausted in terms of values 1 to 9 therefore values 1 to 9 have a prominent role to play this prominent role of values 1 to 9 as transcendent code values will ultimately take us to the values range 1 to 9 as nine numerals of 10 place value system and it will further take us to one space to nine space then further it will take us to the hypercubes 1 to 9 and with hypercube 5 of a middle placement will give proper attention focus importance of value 5 and of hypercube 5 and of five space therefore in our tcb dictionary proper attention shall be given and it should be make a specific note that we are beginning compilation of our tcb dictionary starting with the tcb delf tcb values of devanagari alphabet and then further give a note that the devanagari alphabet letters are availing values 1 to 16 however this pair of values get classified in two parts the one part is of values 1 to 9 which are the of the vowels consonants including anstatha and ushmana letters and the second class of values is of remaining 10 to 16 one may have a pause here and take note that the vinita sutra 1 which is our starting point is a scripture complete in itself it avails a scriptural text of two formulations ekadhikena and purve the first formulation ekadhikena is of nine letters scripture and the second is of seven letter scriptures therefore here itself here in the text of gita sutra 1 itself we shall give a note that the gita sutra 1 itself is the source sutra for the compilation aspects of tcb dictionary as well the tcb dictionary is a dictionary in which the formulations availing devanagari alphabet letters are being changed in terms of the values of the words formulations and as the constituents of the word formulations are the, the devanagari alphabet letters and these values are 1 to 16 and these get classified as 1 to 9 and 10 to 16 therefore gita sutra 1 with its organization ekadhikena purve is also the source scripture the source formulation is source reservoir in terms of which are 
to compile our TCB dictionary. Therefore, at every point when we shall be updating our TCB dictionary, then we shall always have a focus upon the way the Ganita Sutras are unfolding themselves. The way the organization format of Ganita Sutras is unfolding the same way the TCB dictionary is to unfold itself. Therefore, this Ekathiken Purven, which is of nine and seven letters, so initial focus upon nine letters, which will cover all the vowels and the consonants, and then will follow the Yama letters. And here we will be at a 10 place value system. Therefore, the TCB dictionary, when will be reaching at the values more than 10, more than 9, when that means when it will be reaching at its value 10 onwards, then we know that A raised to power of 5 is to 10, B raised to power 5, 4 is the formulation of hypercube 5. So then we, in fact, we will be reaching from 5 as a domain to 10 as a boundary. One may have a pause here and take note that the once we will be supplying a diamondade format to each of the letters, once each and every letter will be having a diamondade format, that means the value 5 will get value 10. That means the organization format features of transcendental carriers chase along the Stapatya Mairing Road, in fact, will be taking us to a from domain to a boundary and boundaries of 10 components. And it is here where it would be blissful. We will be learning in Rudra Sahita that out of these 10 components, when one of the components is blocked or when one of the transcendental component transcends out, then the outside space gets dimensionalized as six space, a self-referral space. It is this phenomenon, it is this feature, it is this value, it is this format, it is this system, which is going to be the feature of a first khand of Rudra Sahita, a Srishti. So it is going to be a Srishti khand. It is this Srishti khand, it will take us to the formulation Srishti, which is of value 18, and this value 18 is of composition 3, 4, 5, 6 and it is a hypercube of 5. So the Srishti creation as is going to be the first Khand and Khand is the word which is of a formulation 16. Therefore this formulation this Srishti Khand of value 18 and 16, of summation value 34, of organization as 7, 8, 9 and 10, a Brahman domain, 9 space. It is this way each and every aspect, each and every step, each and every value, each and every feature, each and every process, each and every compilation, each and every synthesis aspect of the components of the constituents of the Avve here in this scripture, Shipran, this ancient wisdom scripture, five space VMST scripture, we have to be fully faithful, we have to be fully conscious that each and every letter, each and every aspect, each and every value, each and every step, may it be in the form of an organization or may it be in the form of the progression, these all are to be respected as the very valuable essential aspects of the mathematics of five space and of five space Vedic mathematics, science and technology. It is only by giving respect to them it is only by being faithful to these aspects, it is only by our sincerity and consciousness that we shall be in a position to be sadhakas with real urge 
and it is only in terms of it that we can claim that we shall be blessed by the transcendental grace. It is with this that our workshop is being organized, is being structured and the structure of the workshop itself is a essential feature which shall be imbibed by each one of us and it is to begin with a prayer and then the sex session is that we shall start compiling our TCV dictionary then we shall have a chase of the organization and the chase of the organization shall take us to the systems format aspects and for compiling of giving in a wholeness to it for making a complete continuum sequential progression as of the transcendental features as this ancient wisdom is leading us to then we shall have to have a meditation so in these all four phases or with the third phase being of a pair of parts so in all these five phases of the workshop we have to be attentive no part of the workshop can be taken to be more important than any other part each part of the workshop is of equal important prayer is the important there can be nothing more important than the prayer and then compilation of TCV dictionary is important there can be nothing more important than the compilation of the TCV dictionary then the chase of the organization formats is important and there can be nothing important than the chase of the organization formats then reach at the system format of this chase it is most important and there can be nothing more important than this and ultimately it is the meditation which is important and there is nothing more that there can't be anything else more important than the meditation we have learned that prayer is going to be of different phases and this different phases prayer in fact is the is parallel to the features of natural features of evolution of the intelligence field therefore our prayer is to be of a sequential phases as an as we shall be progressing with our workshops then accordingly our prayer will also start unfolding of its sequential phases parallel to the prayer are going to be the meditation sessions the transcendental meditation is the ultimate technique is the ultimate achievement in terms of which we shall be making ourselves entitled for the transcendental grace therefore it is only with the transcendental grace and with the wholeness that we shall be knowing that entire features then when we take it that these are 457 lessons then we know the first is of 25 lessons and therefore remaining remain to be 432 therefore the Videshwar Samhita gets classified as the source scripture in terms of which the remaining values are to be unfolded we further know that this Sakala Rigid Samhita is of 3,32,000 syllables therefore each unit is to be of value 1000 it is this where we will ultimately reach 1000 transcendental designations of Lord Shiva 1000 names of Lord Shiva Shiv Shahistranam Stotram will give us a 1000 transcendental values unit it is in terms of this 1000 transcendental values unit that this script this scripture shipron is ultimately to unfold as 432 these lessons these 432 lessons are to be chased sequentially these are to be chased as 432 gives us 24 into 80 and it is the value of a Purusha and it is the value of a Vidya. Therefore, this Purusha Vidya, all the existence phenomena within the human being, within the human frame. So all what is happening within us is the transcendental happening within the solar universe. 
So it is this happening, it is this existence phenomenon within us which, for which we are being initiated. Once we stand initiated for all what we are composed for and how we are organized, then means we are going to be of the expression as is the Shipra. So this ancient wisdom text of five space VMST Shipron is a detailed step by step chase of the existence phenomenon of happening within each one of us. So what is happening within our brain, what is happening within our heart or what is happening within our all the Shad Chakras that is being initiated exposed trained and prepared for so we are preparing for the purusha vidya we this purusha vidya is the vidya of ex our own existence phenomenon if we want to know ourselves we want to know what we are and we will know all other mysterious questions all upanishad questions for their answers will be face to face with our knowledge only if we are initiating ourselves properly in terms of the ancient text. Therefore, during this workshop, we have to be very cautious for each and every step. So prayer shall be given proper attention, TCB dictionary be given proper attention, organization feature shall be given proper attention, system format shall be given an attention, meditation shall be given an attention and Videshwar Samhita with its chapter 2 when it will start unfolding itself as Shipuran then when we will be chasing it as Rudra therefore in terms of the formulation Rudra which is Atma which is content which is transcendental therefore this transcendental content as the soul is going to be initiated with this step onwards. Therefore, we shall daily go through this particular text chapter by chapter, shloka by shloka. First chapter of Videshwar Samhita shall be chased for its all 38 shlokas and only then the second chapter of Shiv Puran be touched and like that we have to proceed sequentially. Thank you very much.